Live 24 CH, 24 hours in advance with the Bell TV app. We women do talk too much, but even then, we don't tell half we know. Those are the witty words of the Viscount disaster, first uttered around the time when the National Hockey League was born during the First World War. Almost a century later, Lady Astor's words cut straight through the hubbub, and the best example, the living proof here in Montreal, are Julie Eller, Rihanna Weaver, and Angela Price. Before moving to Montreal in 2010, Julie Eller had a successful career in television in Denmark. Tonight, she'll trip the light fantastic before cameras and a live audience to help raise funds for the Just for Kids Foundation. It's been so lovely to see how many volunteers are working around the clock to get this going. It really shows the heart of the city, which is the same you see when you go to watch a hockey game. People are so passionate here. When you get approach with something like this for that cause. It's for the Montreal Children's Hospital. It's the best opportunity you get to give back. It's just not about you anymore. And we had a daughter before her birth. I was, I was gone as much as he was because my job was in Europe. So I'd be, uh, I'd be back and forth a lot. Until you actually live it, it's hard to understand how big hockey is here. I would be very sad leaving this place. We pretty much built our life here. This is where we started our family. It's always going to be special. Everything is fine until she got injured. Now we need to find a plan B to see, but this is the first day since she's back from the injury, so I have no idea what to expect. I need to feel how my back is once okay. I start moving. Are you warm enough? Yeah. Uh, Dancing with the Stars is an event created uh, off the, based on the TV show, and it was created by the Just for Kids Foundation. Uh, who likes to run events to benefit the Montreal Children's Hospital. Amateur dancers with no experience, like Julie Eller, um, are t invited to join the event. They're uh, fundraising at the same time while learning a new skill. How does that feel? Fine. Completely fine. It was very hard to say no, especially when you then go and you read about their projects and how much money and how big of a difference they actually make. But we had to talk it over at home because it was a family decision and even Lars was like, it's a, such a wonderful cause, you should really be doing this. I remember the first thing I asked her, do you, do you know how to walk? She said to me, what do you mean? Of course I know how to walk. <laughs> so I, then I told her, so you know how to dance? Because dance is just another way of walking. This, this is kind of uh, funny. <laughs> this guy is, uh, is getting to dance with me in a, in a real dress. My own husband's never really tried that. <laughs> Don't get jealous, Laura, <laughs> please. Meanwhile, across town in another kind of arena, Michel Terrien shuffles the deck. Mike Weaver steps in for Sergei Gonchar. Gabriel Dumont spells Mikhail Bonival, while Dustin Tokarski relegates Carrie Price to the bench. Alex Galchenyuk gives the Habs the start they're looking for. Twice, in fact. But will it suffice? He's playing deep, boys. He's playing deep. Yeah. You're rolling directly position. You're rolling directly in position. You can't stay there on the side. Oh, it's my fault. The other Eller is felled from behind and pulled from the game. It's downhill from here for the Canadians, and eventually, frustration is the ultimate victor. Come on, boys, come on here, boys. We'll get her back, we'll get her back here, let's go. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, you're gonna get a 
shift against me. He's gonna end up in the back of the net in five seconds. The line is really fine about uh, winning and losing, and tonight the break was not on your side. We're at my bar, uh, you know, I'm uh, part owners with a few people. Uh, it opened up in August, it's called Lore Beer. The restaurant beside is called Loria. It's a good little spot and I uh, decided to invite the boys here for, for the Super Bowl party. So they're all gonna start showing up here now and uh, it should be fun. This is the restaurant here. It's a very open concept, open kitchen. Our chef, uh, Hakim, he, uh, he just won. If uh, you watch Le Chef, uh, he just won uh, this that past season. So he's one of the best around. You think of a hockey game, you know, we kind of go and we get a rest, and then we go, these guys are go, 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 go. So it's, it's pretty cool to watch. Wow, look at the cellar back here too. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Nice. Real nice. Krusty's doing it right here. Well, that's it for the tour, and uh, we're gonna go back downstairs and watch a football game. I have kids in a foreign country. You come to a province or country where you don't speak the language really do rely on other wives. That's sort of your community. Lars Eller and Carey Price are back in the ice to face the Sabres, a last place enigma that Montreal can't seem to solve this year. Georges and Gianta rediscover the confines of the Bell Center, while Jacob Delarose skates in the big leagues for the very first time. Will the Canadians' performance reflect their own place in the standings or their opponents. As the Canadians skate in circles, Julie Eller goes over last minute details before cha chaing to center stage. How's your back? It's good. It's gonna be fine for today. At this point, just the whole work is done. It's all about enjoy the night and enjoy the performance and to have fun. Can I not just dance and then go watch the hockey game? Tonight, some of the girls are getting together and we're having dinner and then we're going to go see Julie Allard dance with the stars. We're missing the game tonight, but we wanted to go support Julie. It's more important tonight. It's very dynamic because there's some, like Brianna, they have children at home, but it's really neat because they still make such an effort to get to the games and support their husbands and, and get to meet the other women and make everybody feel really included. 5.30. <laughs> We're all very different. Everyone kind of comes from a different walk of life. It's fun and kind of has a quirky side and a wild side that we've seen a few too many times this season. She's the wildest. No, I'm not. She's evil. I'm so lucky because I'm from here, my family and my friends are here. Yeah. But when I hear about someone that is pregnant and they're away from, from their parents and their friends and they have that just supports. this, yeah. Like yeah. that's everything you rely on. You meet different people and at the end of the day, you know, Canadians moving to Canada, there are many girls, you can't work, you can't get a visa. So you're sort of stuck in a lot of ways. Europeans too. Yeah, Europeans, the same thing. So you have kids in a foreign country, you come to a province or country where you don't speak the language. You so, don't know anybody Yeah, there. you don't know anybody and you really do rely on on other wives. That's sort of your community. I think it maybe helps that you're so remote, they're French speaking, so the girls kind of bond more so than they might on other teams. I feel like you guys are a fun group of girls. Like I came in here new and after Mike been in the league for so long and you guys are honestly so much fun. Like I feel like I feel natural. Like it's right. a natural friendship with all of you. Most of the women, they all studied in something. They could all be someone on their own and be successful. And because they're in love with someone that has to move all the time, they put their life on the side to be with them. So they deserve all the respect. As the crew heads out to Julie Eller's performance, across the city, the players aim to rattle the Sabres. Let's go, you guys, eh? Skate, skate, skate. Puss! 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 Hey. play, go, GL. We're first in the punch. Oh, yeah.
Brandon Press scores a signature goal. An open ice hit, a few hard strides towards the net, and a one-timer past the goaltender. Okay, I thought it would take it for a hit there. Sweet! There's no hitting from behind it in the mid-ice, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's against the boards, there's no, there's no call on that. It has to be a cross-check or something. Gianta, though, earns revenge and restores the Sabres' two-goal lead. Julie Eller, one, two, three, fours to the beat before a rapt and supportive audience. Hey, honey, me and Sophia are sorry that we can't be there on your big night. We know that you're going to put on a great show. You've been practicing for months now, and uh, you put in a lot of hard work, so I know your performance is going to be really good. Me and Sophia wish you and Julio all the best. Bon chance. It's so cute. I love how she's grabbing the microphone because he's talking too much. <laughs> Very cute. Can you see my heart jumping out of my chest right now? Take position. You have this beautiful woman who walked in our first meeting and was shy and intimidated and quite quiet and to herself. And over the course of learning, she's really blossomed and become a dancer. I'm a sports girl, but I'm not a dancer. You give me a marathon or something with weights and I'll be very happy to do it. But this was, uh, this was a challenge for sure. She did great. She couldn't be better tonight. It was perfect. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Very much. Yeah. She's ready to do it again. No. <laughs> My first year here, it was quite adjustment. I'm kind of a busybody. And to coming here where I couldn't do much, intimidated by the language and new country. But over the years, I've kind of found stuff to throw myself into. Back at the Bell Center, the Canadians start the third period on the right foot, but soon afterwards trip over themselves. David Dernay reduces the Sabres' lead. Patrick Coletta buffaloes straight into a helpless Carey Price. I'm going to ask Pat to come here and go around. So if you take the draw, this guy here is going. And if he doesn't have the one T, he's got him. And, and we're coming like this. The buzzer sounds to end the game. But tempers head into overtime. The Canadians, eyes downcast, dropped their second consecutive game to a bottom feeder. Angela Price, whose tweets and blog posts are read by over 12,000 followers, is proof that from crisis comes opportunity. My first time cooking, I didn't even know like how to cook chicken. That's kind of embarrassing, but I called my sister. I'm like, hey, how do I cook it? But I've come afar. That was like seven years ago. I'm making it oatmeal berry bake. Um, it's one of his favorite breakfasts. I make it probably once a week. My first year here, it was quite adjustment. I'm kind of a busybody. And to coming here where I couldn't do much, I was intimidated by the language and new country. And But over the years, I've kind of found stuff to throw myself into, like classes or the blog. I'm a co-blogger on Champagne and Shimmer. That's what it's called. And I do it with a girl back home that I went to high school with. And we just blog about health, recipes, fashion. I went to college for marketing, and then after college, I worked for um, event management. I did that for all the summers. I did an internship and then worked there for a year before I moved here. 
if Carrie first asked me to move to Montreal, I like laughed at him, like, no way. Like, I, what am I gonna do? And then kind of realized that if you want really should work, you have to move. Get adjusted to Montreal's life and warn them about the fans and no more privacy and you have to share your husband with the city. I love to work for magazines like Marketing Company. Marketing and like advertisements really what interests me. And event management, I could do more with that too. I'll clean up here and then head off to meet Rihanna and we're gonna talk about a charity event that's coming up. You kind of switch roles when you're a parent. So you go from, you know, planning events with fashion to all of a sudden playing games and just being silly. We actually have a really silly family. Angela Price and her friend Rihanna Weaver, a reputed marketing professional, join forces to organize and promote a fashion event. Mike Weaver forgot to take out the baby seat. <laughs> right now we're going to Best Seller. So we are actually meeting with the Vero Moda brand because they have decided to team up with us. So we're gonna work to do the youth girls this time. I love working with them. I love seeing them so excited and have a smile on their face, like giving them new clothes, makeup, um, getting their nails done. Like you feel so special when you do get to do those things. So it's, and it's such a little thing, but I feel like kids are like, are so excited about it. Do you guys want it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're on TV. Hi, Mike. Hi, how's it going? Good. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We're just driving there we're, right now. We're mad at you. You didn't take the car seats out. Yeah. I cleaned the car though. Not good enough. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, you guys have a good, lovely day, and I um, hope to see you guys later. Okay, no problem. Sounds good, Mike. <laughs> hello. Yeah, no, the only place we fit in is you're going to always be wearing it. Hello, hello. Hi. This is Angela. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh my god, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> All we wanted to kind of do was kind of give you guys a little scope of what the girls can see, a little taste of what they'll have inside the store. We're thinking probably March. Yeah. Because February feels a little early. It's early. We were thinking of doing a candy bar station, like a sweet table station. Oh, yeah. You know, with little cupcakes, cake pops, you know, um, fruity drinks. That little awesome. girly really things, good. which I think they'll love. And, uh, and what we'll do is we'll have stuff that they can take away with them too, oh, the ones cool. that I use. Yeah. Perfect. And you guys will ha help with the styling with the girls. I think yeah. that'll be great. For yeah. sure, that's like the best part. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to be able to throw yourself into something you can feel proud about. Charity events always love your time because you have the time and the energy you put into it, so they really appreciate it. So. Feels good to be able to help them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you again. Hello. So what does that mean? One, two, and then the hairs. Still. It's fun because you kind of switch roles when you're a parent. Mm -hmm. So you go from you know planning events with fashion um, to all of a sudden like changing your role and doing homework or playing games and just being silly. We actually have a really silly family. Mom, mom, that's one thing about here. us. You know, you're always busy. We always, but you know, that's one thing I have to say. I remember when Mike was playing and we were younger, we didn't have kids. Like sometimes I'd feel bored or lonely. Like now that I have them, I'm never bored or lonely, ever. Although New Jersey's playoff chase is in the double digits, the Devils have just two losses in their last 10 games. After consecutive defeats, one wonders which team will show up for the Bleu Blanc Rouge. Mic'd up, so you know. I didn't mic you up, you don't even talk. I'm just tell you, because you're gonna say something stupid. Four ex-Habs are now devils in New Jersey, including Mike Camilleri, who opens the scoring. Let's go, boys, hey, let's go! This is Norm, he thinks he's a jokester. <laughs> Tout ce qu'on entend ici dans le salon, c'est que ça se passe comme à Las Vegas. Ce que tu entends dans le salon, on laisse dans le salon. This is the Wives Lounge. We come here before the hockey game and in between periods. Have a bar, you can get a glass of wine to calm your nerves. This is where we kind of socialize before the game start or quickly in between periods. And then we're back upstairs to watch the game.
to get it to you down low there. Like, yeah. Oh, he was cheating. Is there any way you could just shoot it at the net? I'm blocked. I'm trying to get it to you. Like, because the D-man in front is cheating on that. Unless it gets behind to the other side. He was The last laugh shall belong to the Canadians as they explode for six goals. Nonetheless, the move of the week goes to Julie Eller, while Rihanna Weaver and Angela Price earn kudos for best performance. Which reminds us of another doughty quote from Lady Astor. I married beneath me. All women do. This program presented by Power Run Energy, the sport nutrition supplements, and sports experts, proud partner of 24CH. Think you know your Habs? Discover 24CH The Quiz on Channel 1217.